this video we're going to demonstrate how to install uh, a, the larger solar panel. This is a 250 watt. The, um, the 150 watt, the same rules apply. Now the difference with these, these are uh, cyclone rated brackets system with rail. So it's a little bit different to mount, so we're going to do that today. First of all, we try and uh, mount our brackets to the, uh, the ceiling purlins or battens, roof battens, for a firm fix. So you can see on the roof there, we've got, uh, we've got two rows of screws there, so this is pretty much where our panel, our panel is going to sit. So I'll just put this aside. Yeah, we're, going to, we're going to use our existing roof screws, so I'll just pull those out. And basically we've got a rail on the bottom and a rail up the top. In the roof mounting kit, you have all the brackets, all the screws that you that you need to do the to do the whole job. So let's open this up. Now you'll see you'll have four four of these brackets. Now two basically they fit like this into our existing. Uh, screws so what we're going to do is just take this one out now the rubber washer is already on the bottom of this for a, a watertight fit so we just put our screw back in this one There's our two brackets. Now we'll just go up and put the other two brackets on. So now we connect the rail to these what they call lugs on the on the brackets. They just loosen them off a little bit. Now if you can see that's where we're gonna slide slide that in. So slide. Just like that. Make them, get them even. Now I usually just have the, the bracket It's not too critical how high you have that but that's that's about the norm that I I have it on. Now I just finger tight that. I use the Allen keys just to tighten tighten that up. Nice and firm. Nice and tight, so you can see that's that's really solid. So again, we just slide it in. Central it so you get the same length as the other side.
confirm. So there we go. So that does our two rails. So now, see how the panel sits on those rails? Just to make sure. So that's how the panel will sit on top of the rails and we've got some clamps to go on fur as well. But first we have to, these cables, we have to get into the roof cavity. Now I've already pre-drilled a hole into the, the roof sheet which is on top of the rib. Again you don't want to put a hole in the pan because that's where the water goes. So you want to keep it up high. So that's, that's our Cable entry. Now, again, we we'll use a, a deck tight and mount it on there uh, with some with some conduit to protect it, protect the cable. So we'll just mount this first. Okay, so we've got our penetration through the ceiling, for the roof, sorry, for our cables. So now we'll just poke our cables down into the roof cavity. And that'll complete. Put this one down first. Alright, so there's our cables into there. Uh, it's a good idea to pull, always put some silicon to stop any any water ingress just in case. Um, but if you notice too, we always put the deck tight underneath the panel which protects it, protects it as well. So okay, so that's ready to go. Just flip it over. Now you can cable cable tie those cables to that rail. For a, uh, secure secure those cables but for now all we do now is uh, put these end clamps on the uh, connect the panel to the rail so again just loosen that up a bit slide it in and that's how it clamps onto that panel so just uh, just lightly finger tight just do finger tight for now. I'll do the other side, make sure it's nice and straight. So again, slide the clamp on, just like that. And that clamp's down. Secured. So now we're going to go downstairs and uh, connect our lights.